chosen ones. Your haters are surrounding. Now it's time to defend yourself. What do I mean by that? Now it's time to defend yourself. In many cases, chosen ones, people will get a breakthrough. But that breakthrough can be defeated. It can be challenged. It can be offended. Because you are dealing with top tier demon, uh, demonic folks. So they will uh, dang near die before they allow you to be above their childish, baby like spirits, debate, debate like spirits, spirits. Yet, God is looking to see if you are the one. Even though he know you're the chosen one because he made you the chosen one. But he's trying to see what type of chosen one is this one. God is thinking, can my chosen one withstand the duration of the demons on this earth? Like a coach watching a, you know, a new basketball player on a team that he just adopted. He's like, let's see if he really could hit five threes in a row and win this game for us. We already won, but let's see what he could do. You're in tryouts right now. Can they fend for themselves amongst these demonic spirits? Because right now, he's extremely proud of you right now. Yet you have to have the eyesight. The eyesight is highly critical. And when you can, Satan sent out some of his moodiest troops to the point where he even got grown men, not just the women, but grown men acting moody and unstable in your presence. And so you have to be mature despite situations that tug on your soul. You have to be defiant day in and day out. You have to be the change you want to see by literally embodying stability Stability makes all the difference. Stability is the key of life. And thus we must think, we must think to self, where does stability come from? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Because I emojis, because we are in our stability season. And that's the thing. Also, one's self. I mean, asking oneself, where are the things in my stability that is weaker than the amount? I mean, what are the things? Uh, what? are the things in my stability that are weaker than the amount I needed to be at. Stalking and hounding your own weaknesses. Cleansing them. Healing them. Because if they can knock you, they will, chosen ones. You have to live up to your own expectations. You have to frustrate your foes. Now, chosen ones, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video real smooth and proper. But what I'm saying is that most people, even people in your past, you've dealt with in an unstable uh, way. And they might hate you 
subconsciously because the way you the, the lack of strength you did have you know what i'm saying just like many children build up resentment for their father because the lack of strength they had and the father doesn't realize that he's in the game right now so any little thing he even do up to this day would be um a chess move at this point like even if it's at the end of the game fourth quarter you already lost some other man is in the picture doing this to that still you still are in the game and what a lot of people don't do they don't they don't check in they don't they don't make moves even if it's in the fourth quarter because they don't realize that hey even if it's the fourth quarter you know what i'm saying i could do some work here you know what i'm saying a working man is a working man he's gonna always do some work so what i'm trying to say is that don't let don't let um situations be bigger than than you uh because when people who, who develop some hate for you when they realize that you're strong for real, for real like i mean i'm speaking like strong like like this guy ain't really i mean he's like he's like something i can't be you got to be that you can't be equally strong with these people Eagles don't fly with crows. Crows try to get on an eagle back and they die because they can't go that high. You have to be the high frequency. You have to be that in their face. Like, hey, old man, like, listen, this is what it is. I don't smoke or I, whatever it is that you feel me is, is your situation. You have to be, um, you have to show people you can't tell people you can't go around your old friends and tell them oh, i'm doing this now i'm doing that now <clears throat> don't tell them nothing be it be the face of the operation be the be the guy that they can't even really know if they ain't pry into your life they would never see it be that guy if they never pried in on it they would never even get a, a taste of it for real they'll never know it is not because you hide nothing from nobody it's because you are really steady fast in the Lord to the point where nobody can ever keep up with you because you're always doing something new. You have a life. Your life revolves around God. And if their life don't revolve around God, they really can't even get near you anyway because they got to go through layers of stuff because they don't even believe in God. They want to fake it just so they can get closer to you. But it ain't no faking this. Uh, it ain't no faking it just like someone can't be a fake gangster just like somebody there's some things in life you can't fake you can't be a fake bully you can't be a fake anything and all too often people just be trying to just, just do it and it's like that's not really it can't work but what i'm trying to say is that god is the way because god will give you the courage to be yourself even when you thinking like dang bro like I'm really a nerd, bro. I think everybody gonna laugh at me when I do this or do that. You don't know what they are gonna do. And I'm walking testimony. I don't know what people going from high school gonna, when they see these videos, whatever. I don't know what they gonna think. They might be like, yo, bro fell off. He don't look the same. He looked this way, he looked. Okay, bet. I ain't fall off with God. I'd rather be uh, who I am. But, but see, that's what I'm saying, like, if I didn't have that comeback, then I'm letting that fester, whatever it is. And that comeback is only valid because of God. I'm a man. I don't got to be pretty like y'all women out here. Y'all got to be pretty. Uh, and y'all guys, a lot of y'all guys got to be pretty too. Because why? Because y'all don't got the Lord in your life. But when you got the Lord, it's more rugged. It's more... It's like being a, a troop. It's like being a, 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 a soldier. It's not. It's not soft. People think a god. They think a soft. I don't know why they think that, but it's not like that. God is a soldier. God is a soldier, and God died for our sins. And y'all want to sit here and think soft. It ain't nothing soft about it. But what I'm telling you is that. 
Let people talk. Let people hate. Your haters are surrounding you. Now it's time to defend yourself. That's a message that God told me to tell y'all. God said, your haters are surrounding. Now it's time to defend yourself. What other permission do you need? You don't, who else is out here? God is at the very peak top telling you that haters are surrounding. It's time to defend you now. I mean, there's no more uh, approval than you could get from that. It's time that you start seeing God's approval is at 100% mark and your frenemies and friends and family members approval is at like a 50 to 30. If that, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, so nowadays you call someone uh, associate and their trust is at, you know, does your trust of what they think is at like a zero to 15 percent? And because if it's if I, if I trust in God, I can't put my I just, it, it's, if it's in God, it's in God. So it's not even personal against the other people. It's just that they got to watch the show or they got to get mad and walk away from the show because the show is what's going on. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that people will get their breakthrough all too often uh but but that breakthrough can be debated it can be challenged it can be offended it's a lot of other guys talk about god and preaching whatever and guess what they going uh that's the first thing people going to think subconsciously oh i've seen so many guys try to do this preacher stuff and it's just a, it's always going to be somebody out there who's gonna think that you're not really the real mccoy but it's that's up for them to you know what i'm saying like we don't get ourselves we don't we don't and we don't entertain those type of, we don't indulge that deep into what a human is thinking because we know already that the flat the earth is not trustable for advice like it's not gonna come from earth it's gonna come from otherworldliness it's just like a woman a woman can't go to a woman for advice she ought to go she got to find a man to be led out of that chaos because both women are see so so many so often women think they go talk to women to fix something about a man but really they probably need more of like a man therapist or somebody uh, a man to teach them or father figure to teach them what's real and to see things that's invisible because two women, they're going to be in chaos and they're going to think they know what they're talking about. But they don't even realize that they're slaves to their womanhood and they can't see nothing else but womanhood because all their life they look through the fish tank of womanhood. They can't see really why that man doing what they want, what that man doing. And they fell in love with their own perspective, even though they trusted their own perspective, even though it's not even a well worked on and a well defined perspective. It's just a perspective that was just given by itself. Like, and I'm not saying that they can't ever trust their gut, but what I'm saying is that when you go around and trust your friends more than God or trust your friends more than your man or whatever you're the uh the hole in the boat that the enemy is going to swim through or come through because a real relationship is closed it's closed your friends cannot have a say so about your man are you crazy but um <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to really vet these women too and pick the right women. And just Same for the women though. Y'all got to vet. Know what you like, know what you don't like. Stop doing this collaborative opinion thing because you'll be single until you're 80 and you'll claim it's okay. I'm okay. I'd rather be single. That's what I see a lot of black women saying out there. It's okay. I really, not to me. They know better say that to me, but they say it to these other guys. And 
it's as if the other guy feels like they're just going to let them say that. I wouldn't let them say that, but that I'm different. But what I'm saying is that they're going to allow them women to say that. And when I say I'm not going to allow it, I'm going to allow it, but I'm still, I'm going, I'm going to leave an impression that's good, basically. That you're not going to really, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, that's a great area, but let's leave that alone for now. What I'm saying is that these young women are saying they're okay with dying alone if they can't get this type of guy. Or they'll say, you know, I'll settle if I can't get the guy I really want to have. And that's that's reason I could I could I could see that because even that even men have to do that a lot of the time because men typically have a Tyra Banks on in their mind. Men typically have a, a, a Jada Pickett Smith or men typically have this idea and they all too many times in many cases end up having to settle for something they don't want. And so that is a universal humbling experience. So I could I respect that one more than the I'll die alone if I can like when you really hit 70, 60, 50, you just gonna be like, I honestly believe like that's that's a bad call. That's an emotional, reactive, that's a bad call. <clears throat> but it is what it is. I don't care. It's not my life, it's your life. But what I'm saying is that it's true. You're either gonna have to die alone, settle for uh somebody or get better as a human being, which a lot of people don't even realize that they're not. And then you're gonna to have to scale the, you know, the fence and become something new, this new spirit, this new mindset, this better person evolve. And then you can have a cream of a crop of a new garden of men or whatever, but you're not gonna just sit around. I mean, you might, find you might run into somebody i'm not a freaking fortune teller but what i'm just saying is that you never know where you're gonna find love you never know you have to stay open you have to stay open and a lot of people man this is, happens all too often they have somebody waiting that really like them or will really give them a, a fair relationship and they not they don't like that guy and i understand why and stuff like that that guy is soft and not soft but that guy might just be something you're not used to and it might not be as attractive than that other guy that you've been conditioned to like but uh um, I'm not going to beat y'all over the head with this topic because I could go all night. I'm not going to try to convey women or persuade women to settle for guys that they don't really find attractive because that's, in many ways, is not realistic of an expectation of me. But, uh, I mean, in high school, you knew. If I had to wear some ups and it was fake, I had to wear some fake ups. If I had to wear this, I had to do it. But I had to go to school and I had to win in school and I had to get A's in school because that same person who went to school with the fake J's can get their money up, go to a good college and lose the fact that they got to fit in all at the same time. If your perspective is stead steadfast in the Lord. If you have a right perspective, you can do, you can kill two birds with one stone. You gotta be a cake and eat it too. How good is the Lord? Don't tell me what my God won't do. See what I'm saying? But y'all wanna do that all too often. Y'all wanna talk about this and that. Because y'all have these unrealistic expectations and that's what the devil will bestow upon you as soon as you, you turn your back on God. Because he could freeze you with your own perspective. And then when you frozen with your own perspective, who can save somebody from that? Who can save somebody from that? That's what you think. That's what you see. Every time I try to tell you something else, you want to create a longer duration of a conversation just so we could talk longer about why. Like you want me to like shovel you out of what you really believe. And that's only because you don't believe in God. 
Because if you believed in God, you will already know what's right and wrong. And then you wouldn't even need another person to tell you that. You would already stand on it. And if you wasn't standing on it, which you are going to, but if you wasn't standing on it, then you would already know that karma is right at your footsteps. So you ain't even going to play. So it's all too often we want to look to our family members. Help me with this. What do I do with this? How do I get a job? Teach me how to get it. They ain't going to teach you nothing. If they was going to teach you, they would have taught you in seventh grade, eighth grade. They would have taught you how to be this big entrepreneur guy. But they ain't do it. So guess what? God is always one step ahead of your enemies. God is a, will always put a ram in the bush. And he'll always give you a way out. So you just got to always think about it like that. Like, um. You just gotta always be uh be be resourceful with God. Don't think that don't 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 uh don't put in people what you should put in God. Like be a great investor. Like, like why am I gonna put a question to a loser? Not not excuse, me, I ain't gonna talk about people like that. Why would I see I'm straightening it up? Hey, then I'm doing just to think about God because that's how it works. He's a consciousness. He's a he's in yet. He's he's a psyche, but so is the devil. So you either living on the acid side of life or the uh, acid or alkaline. God is always going to be alkaline. You already know God is and the devil is going to always be fiery and toxic. So you thinking about God. You tightening up on stuff that you would not be able to organize your life on your own. Stop tripping. Stop thinking you could do that. Stop thinking you could learn how to stop cursing, get a good man or good woman, uh, live a, a, a healthy life. Stop thinking you could do all that, because you you could do you could do a good great percentage of it. But what you're not accounting is what about the little things that I can't touch and, and do. Like, like you don't believe that miracles could be done. Like I said, I'm not here to change your mind because I'm not going to convince a non-miracle believer into believing miracles. See what I'm saying? That's contradictory because you're like, why are you even talking to them? Why are you even doing these videos if you're not going to? I gave you enough. I gave you a body of perspectives. But I didn't give it to you. I gave it to the universe. This video is a YouTube. I'm giving this out to the universe. If you've been drawn to the information, that obviously is healthy for you. It's healing for you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. See what I'm saying? Don't go nowhere. Life is a journey. You going to let me drive this bus for you? Because I'm not driving, God driving. I'm just a guy who's in the driver's seat. I'm just a man. But God will use his men. He will use, see what I'm saying? So don't ever think that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm taking credit for it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. Even if I want to, I can't. Because I didn't write the Bible. I didn't make the rules. I didn't. I didn't, uh, I'm not the, I'm not the one, I'm the chosen one, but I'm not the one. So, you know, I'm here to feed the knowledge. I'm here to, you know what I'm saying? Push it because I see the value in it. I see how it works. I see how, you know what I'm saying? People can benefit from it and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't push nothing. I don't believe it. And so that's just what I'm just going to do. So if, if it fits for you like a glove, then man, like I don't understand. People complicate stuff and it's like, I mean, I do understand because even I, I complicate it at a certain point, but it's like, once you see it, you see it. You know what I'm saying? Once you know it, you see it, you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no validation. You don't need no, uh, you just don't. You don't need no validation. You just don't. And so, uh,
a lot of life is contradictory. Because you can say you don't need validation, but then you're like, well, why do you have friends around? And, you know, people just like to ask a lot of questions because life is a question, a big question mark. Why are we even here? Why did I? And it's like, true. Like, the more you answer those quandary like questions, quandary means, you know, quagmire like situations that you feel stuck at this point. Well, I'll give you an answer. You need friends because we're all a frequency on planet Earth. And if we don't got friends, then by nature, by mother law, by na whatever, you're kind of just too isolated. It's okay to go through an isolation season because you was hanging with a crowd that you could not see yourself, your way out of, like you were lost. But when you, 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 you get out of it to get back into it in a different manner. In a new in a new way, in a way where the friends are different now. They talk to you different. They respect you more. You know, in life you're either doing two things, you're either leveling up three things, leveling up, staying still, or decreasing. And when you staying still, you're probably decreasing. So, you know what I'm saying? Because the world don't stay still, as we can see. So you have to uh adjust, adapt, and grow and and be uh be that guy, be you know that woman or whatever, and be, you know, uh always evolving. That's why YouTube is beautiful because people want to learn how to be consistent. Like, really for me, in my opinion, what I see for myself is like, bro, I always struggle with that. Except for with basketball, because basketball was fun. YouTube is kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of is. Uh, it could take you places, take you all around the world. You see a lot of YouTubers get that bag and start traveling. It could do a lot for you. So, but sometimes I think to myself, like, well, what if YouTube wasn't here? Then what would I? I mean, I do got a little bit of a list because I've learned to like break things down put to myself through not having things. Like, like, bro, school, you ain't succeed with that. You could have, but you, you know, you stop. So like, is that just like the end or like what? And then it's like, after years of just relaxing and being in this comfortable zone, I'm like, wait, I don't want to be comfortable no more. What could I do? And then I had to make a list. I had to write down some side hustles, some jobs. And this was one of the side hustles. YouTube was one of the side hustles, but all in all it's funny because I was always a little bit into, you know, like I told you, like my life was very inconsistent with every day. You know I'm saying church, father figures, you know what I'm saying? Basket like I like basketball. I was good at basketball, but the coaches would always just think, oh, he wasted talent. Like he was good, but he never did good in school and he never showed up to practice. You know, he just do anything. So it's like a catch-22. Like a lot of us on on planet Earth, we live through this catch-22 type lens and this expectation of ourselves. And that's really what trump you because that goes directly against consistency. It goes directly against consistency. And you need consistency to make money. You need consistency to make videos. You can't make anything. Even when you're drawing the picture, you have to you can't just draw a line and be like, oh, I drew a, a face and the arms. No, you have to be consistent. And people let fear get in the way because when you become a little consistent, you start to realize other frequencies are going to oppose that frequency that you are in. But what you got to remember is that it just doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you really link, and this is why friends is important pulled it all the way 360 these people want to stop you off of what they remember of you not what you're becoming because what you're becoming is something they're not used to and it's going to throw them off balance but they may try to offend you or violate you or annoy you or irritate you or do many harsh things to you because what they're trying to do is regulate themselves. But like I said, and I'm going a little bit into therapy right now, 
But if you link with the right friends, that's what I'm trying to tell you, right friends, because all too often, why you're being in these quandary-like situations is because you're hanging with a, either nobody or you're hanging with just people that you're not the, the frequency match of. And you need to hang with the frequency match of because then, you know, it's like it doesn't, they'll, you know, people have to chill off of you. You know, we have to chill off of you because we can't offend somebody who's living in their power, living in their in their purpose and living. That's why I say, uh, you know, getting into God is all around of you. It's not even just a spiritual. It's also just a scientific, a frequency, something you can actually see. You know what I'm saying? Like a rock on the ground. You can actually, you can't, you don't need people to tell you about it. You can just go outside and actually see that rocks. I ain't seen a rock in a long time. Since I was in middle school, I used to see rocks on the ground. I don't see rocks too much, but I don't know. Hmm. I know they out there, especially on the beach, these big rocks and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, even beaches and nature, you don't need somebody to tell you that that's what's happening. You just need to go outside and go look air and stuff like that we are science you know, we boil down to oxygen da, 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 atoms and but god is 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 alike because it's many god like things in the science it's many science like things in the in the in the in the, in the church and things so it's like you don't have to be validated by people. That's the most freeing thing on earth. I don't need to be validated by people. Okay, cool. So then I can actually be myself. I can actually live. I can actually thrive. I can actually, I don't got to worry. See, most people care what other people think. That's all it is. That's all it is. Uh, this is why God said, haters are surrounding. Now it's time to defend yourself. He didn't say in which way. He didn't say in which way. Because defending yourself comes in a plethora of ways. It could be just setting a boundary, a new boundary. It could be telling people, I don't want to hang out. I don't want to go to that cookout. I ain't been to a cookout in seven years. You want me to come to a cookout? And then it could be they, they keep pushing for you to go to the or pulling whatever one they try to do. And then you just say, okay, I'm cutting this conversation short. Uh, and then, you know, because at the end of the day, you're going to be challenged. And how you take the challenge is either going to show weakness or steady fast in the Lord. Steady fast in the Lord. So it just is what it is. I'm just saying. So like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm going to see you on the next video, man. I'm gone. It's your boy, man. Peace.